So for those of you that aren't watching the live stream, you missed a really, really thrilling conversation about the uh, definition of a sandwich. And just to get you involved, if you do watch this on YouTube at a later date, uh, the question is essentially, is a hot dog a sandwich? And this comes from the definition of, 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 of sandwiching something. So, you, you, a sandwich is a sandwich because you, because of the act of sandwiching something between two bits of bread. However, hot dogs are commonly not cut the whole way through. So, technically, there's only one bit of bread. So, technically, a hot dog is a cradle for your meat. I'm going to just take a moment to acknowledge the fact that I said that with a straight face. And we are going to move swiftly on. Is what we're going to do. We're going to move swiftly on from that. Ah, <sighs> oh, no, I've lost it, damn it. <laughs> I changed out this intersection, raised it up, so this now goes into a clover leaf and is going to go over the water at some point. I also started getting this to empty, which is going to give some issues with the uh, garbage collection, but that's fine. We need to empty the landfill. It is a, uh, it's kind of essential. Uh, we're also sitting on two million dollars, which is lovely, and I'm thinking we're going to start working on another industrial area sort of over here a little bit. So, uh, let's start doing it. Let's start building a new industrial area. Let's figure out what we can do. Uh, let's just keep it on the ground and, I don't know, build something kind of, uh, kind of cool. So we'll go that kind of angle. We'll bring a, uh... And I haven't you done my mind is still just I just want to point out my mind is still very much focused on what I said just two minutes ago. Um it's quite difficult to uh quite difficult to uh to forget that conversation. Oh boy. Um yeah, we'll bring this all the way down. Not gonna laugh, not gonna laugh, not gonna laugh, not gonna laugh. Um We'll do that. And that that'll kinda of work out. That's a pretty good angle, I think. I like that. Um, we could use a lot of this farming area for things as well. I might use a little bit over there. We could use this bit, actually. I think I'll, I'll do some farming on, like, the underside of the highway. Is, uh, is what I'll do. So, we'll see if that ends up working out. Let's just sort of do a bunch of grids here for industry. I do want to get some trains in as well, and I know I could do... I've got some room for trams as well. I don't know if I would want to do trams, though. I'm thinking about it. Because they kind of just add more traffic, and if we have buses, then buses are kind of just as good. So... I don't think I want trams. I don't think I want trams. They're not, they, they, they're good, but they're not, yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not fantastic. I do want trains, though. I do want to have, like, I think I might try and put, like, a cargo train out here that'll sort of go across and stop somewhere kind of in the middle and then go over to this industrial zone as well. That might be, that might be something to do. Where is the, is there a train connection on this map? I didn't actually check that. I don't think there is. I don't think this map has regional... No, no, it does. It does over there. I can see it. This map does have regional trains. Um, any around here? No, we gotta get to them. Okay, that's fine. That's, uh, that's, that's no big deal. We're fine. Alright, let's keep on going here. So we're gonna want some garbage collection out here. Which I'm gonna do... Like that... That'll be a pretty good amount of them. Could do a recycling center. I don't know if we need them, but sure. We'll throw some of those in. We could do warehouses if we really wanted to go for production. That is kind of an option. I mean, if we have a look, we have uh, natural resources. We have plenty of fertile land here. We could do a little bit of forestry. I just don't know if I want to do farming here because this is kind of going to probably end up being quite a downtown-ish area. Could do farming up on the island, actually, with a bit of forestry next to it. That might not be a bad idea. There's, uh, there's ore up here as well. There is no oil, by the looks of it. Interesting. There's, like, yeah, there's, like, no oil on this map. Whatever. That's fine. Um, I think I might save my industry and my farming and specifics and all that stuff for this island, though. 
I think that'll work. And then down here can just stay um, sort of normal. Production would be nice, though. I like my warehouses. I think they look kind of cool. I just don't think it's necessary. Um, factories as well are kind of going to be a no-go. So let's just do some industrial zoning up here. And I mean, we'll probably need a fire station out here too. So we'll throw one of those in. And uh, maybe helipads. Maybe we do some of like the, the helicopter based stuff out here. That might not be a terrible idea. Do like a little depot off the side here where we can do all of the... Um, all of the, the helicopter related things. There's a word I'm looking for that I can't think of and it's annoying me, but that's fine. Yay. Uh, is that, that is 45 degrees. All right. And that is 10 units there. Space already occupied. I beg to differ. So that's 10 units. All right. Um, so what I'm thinking we'll do is do like our, our helicopter space kind of in here at a bit of an angle just to break things up a bit just so everything's not a big old grid as uh, it pretty much is right now. Uh, but this is the, how much is this? 50,000? That's not bad. Uh, so this is the medical helicopters. This will be the fire helicopter and then the police ones can go across the street I guess so that's pretty much all we're gonna need really keeps the area pretty good they're gonna have three helicopters I kind of want to increase the budget I think I'm gonna increase the budget of um of all of them so they get more helicopters so I'll give them four I also don't need to have the game pause to do this need to remember that and then uh, water. That's gonna be a thing. Yep, that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing. Still haven't remembered water. Still haven't remembered it. Magnum and Twitch chat just noticed water. Yep. Yep. Just just noticed. Just uh. Still haven't remembered. One of these days. One of these days I will. One of these days I absolutely will. Um, power is obviously gonna be an issue out here as well. I'm slightly tempted. You know what we might do? I might try and push for, like, green energy. I might go for, like, solar power and stuff out here. Or, like, geothermal. Although geothermal is not as good as, um, as solar. Let me move one of my oil plants out there. Just for the time being. And let me elevate these so they'll go over the highway and sort of straight to uh to there does that really not connect it's kind of surprising actually um all right there we go so that now connects that all together everywhere still has power so that's good i think we will i think i am gonna go for like uh for green energy i think that's gonna be i think that'll be a good thing that's just gonna be tricky because I've done, I've tried that before, and it doesn't usually work. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, the helicopters are doing their thing. That's good. That's a little bit of industry for this part of the city, which is also going to be good. Bit of garbage disposal for this part of the city as well, which is super good. So, let's expand the residential. We have demand for it. In fact, no. We don't have demand for expansion. What we can do is rip out all of this and replace it with uh, with high density. And I'm thinking that we... Uh, is this empty yet? 35% uh, full. Okay. I'm thinking what we can do is go in and I want to take out the residential around this park here. And I want to replace it with some offices. So, a bunch of offices there. But what I'm thinking we do is we say that Strawberry Hills as a district is going to have, um... I don't know if I would... I don't know if I'd do an old-time policy. I'm going to encourage biking. I'm going to say that it... requests tallest buildings to install lightning rods on their roofs to the lo lower the likelihood of them catching fire during a thunderstorm. Meh. Let's do electric cars. 
let's do a ban on combustion engines unless essential. Let's filter. I guess, oh, that's industrial buildings, never mind. Outside connections in this area can handle more vehicles carrying tourists, increasing the amount of visitors in the city. Meh. I think that's fine. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do a uh, an IT cluster. So that park is going to be surrounded by really, really uh, tall buildings, which will be fantastic. Uh, cemetery's full as well. Let's start emptying that. Let's start getting that out of here. I also really, I really want to put fences around this park. It's starting to bug me. It's really starting to bug me. But we'll not stress too much about it. We'll get there. It'll be okay. It'll be, uh, it'll be okay. As for, um, as for traffic, this is something we had a little look at during the break on the, uh, the live stream as well. As for traffic, 77%. That's largely being dragged down by this road and, uh, by all of this as well. So we, eh, just getting comfortable. Uh, so we kind of need to fix all this. We had 91% like traffic flow. It's 71% now. That's bad. That's very bad. A lot of it, I think, is because like traffic from here is trying to get onto this, uh, this highway down here to get over this way, which is fine. But it's slowing down this main road. So we kind of need to, uh... We kind of need to fix it. And I'm thinking that, uh... Junctions... You know, turning this stop sign off might do it. Actually, Bobbin just said the same in uh, Twitch chat as well. And that definitely seems to be speeding things up. I think traffic lights here might be a good idea. Because there's a lot of traffic coming out of there. But now the problem is this is uh, is no longer moving. So the roundabout's backing up. Like right now, this is sort of the quickest way across the city for a lot of that traffic because a lot of the rest of it goes through all these intersections and is just a slower road. So we can uh, we can fix that a little bit later on for sure. Um, I think I kind of want to... What are you complaining about? Too few services, really? And then you're not enough uneducated workers. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try upgrading this roundabout. I want to see what happens if they do end up with four lanes. I'm just curious to see if they'll do anything with them. Uh, actually... Other than the traffic lights being on, that actually seemed like it might have done some good things. So, junctions, turn that off, keep the stop sign. It kind of did nothing at all, actually. Turn that off, let that traffic just keep moving, I guess. Yeah, that didn't really do much. That that didn't really do much. I mean, it's got these guys moving. Well, we'll come back to that. I'm not going to focus on it because I, I need more connections. And if I don't have more connections, I'm just going to move the problem from one area to another. So there's really no... Uh, there's really no point in focusing too much on the problem until we have another connection. And I think part of me is tempted to say we do a connection like here, right? We have traffic that can go out that way, but then it just goes to the same place and eventually ends up on the roundabout anyway. So it's still the same problem. Um... Yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll we'll figure that out. I have some ideas for like this space, which I might actually start filling up. And I think this area is going to be built off of um, this orientation. So it's actually not going to follow any of the existing uh, grid over here, which will be kind of cool. I'm also thinking this road should be one way. So it's going to sort of serve as like a uh, almost an avenue, I think. Let's do trees. Let's do a tree-lined road. We'll go whatever that distance is. And we'll go whatever that distance is. And that looks alright. What distance is this? 960 is the uh, the value of that. 
bit of road. So if we go 960 here, and that could almost be like a, oh, that could be like a central park. Ooh. I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Let's just see if we can do a uh, sort of like big Central Park looking thing between two hospitals. With... Have I done the roads right there? No. These ones need to be tree lined as well. So a hospital either side. We can do like a Central Park looking thing in the middle. Uh, we can do an entrance not there because it won't go central. Uh, we can do there and there. Then on this end, we can sort of do the same thing. And we're going to have a lot of entrances, I think. Um, we'll figure we'll figure something out. Let me connect those together. I think that'll work. I am going to put um I am going to put fences around it as well, I think. I'm going to leave that open. So this is when like there's a big old city surrounding this whole thing. And it's going to be quite noticeably like a, a park in there. And I think that'll be good. So let's just do all of these stretches of fence. It's still weird to me that this is like vanilla city skylines. I remember like you wouldn't, you couldn't do this in like the base game. You couldn't, and I know that's obvious, right? It's a DLC that lets you do the fences. But like park life is did so much for like anyone that wants to be creative with their city. It really did. Okay, that is a horrible looking park. Don't look at it too close. Don't don't look at it up close. It's terrible. But that's fine. It's fine. Um I think that'll look good though. Surround it with buildings, it'll look uh it'll look really good. In fact, I want to uh I want to build around it kind of immediately. I'm also thinking we should probably do should probably do some like roads that come off of here. So off of there and off of there. And uh, there and there. And that will give us a really nice like uh, buffer of zoning around this. So it's going to look more dense than it actually is. Is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, so we'll do... Actually, I guess the end of that should be there, shouldn't it? Well, sort of. That's fine. That's that's totally fine. Uh, this side actually doesn't line up. There's supposed to be a gap of two there. That's actually fine by me, though. I don't mind that. And then what we can actually do is bring this road out. Maybe bring it a little bit further. Bring you along. So about there. And uh, do that. So that actually connects down. And then this one could probably just go straight down. Yeah. That'll work really nicely. We're going to have a really... I think we're going to have a really nice uh, sort of city center looking thing. And actually, it looks really good with the with the, the highway there. I like that a lot. I'm actually really pleased with that. Uh, let's see. This could probably come down into the middle. So that area is nicely zoned. That can go straight across there. This actually worked out so much better than I thought it would. Good lord. Um, let's do roads like this. And then I guess leave a gap there. That's fine. Can that go straight down? It absolutely can. So these can all go straight down except for this one. Oh, it can as well. Okay. That's going to be a nightmare for traffic, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I'm really pleased with that. It's almost like I meant to do it. It's going to be terrible for traffic, but I'm pleased with it, so that's fine. That's fine. It's not like we were going to try and get our traffic flow to be really high or anything. What I should say, it's not like we were realistically going to try and get it up there. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, bring this down through the middle. So that whole area has uh, has water. 
Uh, we'll bring this down and run that space. And then this road down here needs it as well. We're actually about to start filling up the, uh, filling up the city with a good amount of, uh, people, hopefully. Let me try something here. If I turn this into a one-way road. Oh, that's going to do nothing, though, because it doesn't loop around. Oh, it could, though. Okay. No, that's actually... that's That might actually work. That... That might do some good for us, because we could technically loop it around. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, these need demolished. And then this road needs to go... Like that. And then I should, in theory, be able to do that. Yeah. Alright, perfect. So that actually does loop around. It's not like this big one-way sort of loop going through there. Um, okay. I'm still pretty convinced it's going to be terrible for traffic, but I'm willing to, uh, I'm willing to try it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's start just doing some, uh... Ah, do I want to do one big district? I think I kind of do. I'm really not sure. I feel like this part should be its own district. Maybe just the middle part. I don't know. I think this should be. This should be its own district. Because it's kind of all one big feature, right? It's all one big thing. So this should sort of go across like that intersection and then down and then fill all of that up. So that's not very much Sunset Square, which is kind of a perfect name for it. I like that a lot. I uh, I like that name. It's pretty good. Uh, this area down here, I'm thinking could be split into two districts. I also really like the name Cozy Heights that I had there, but that's not going to be what it's called anymore. That's going to be... What is it going to be? Let's find out in... No, Foggy District. Not really as nice, is it? We went from Cozy Heights to Foggy District. Just not. I'm going to rename it, I think. I kind of want Cozy Heights back. Foggy District. <laughs> Prospect District. That's I kind of... That's generic as well. What are we doing here, City Skylines, with these generic names? Reap Cringe says, welcome to Sunset Square. I agree. I think I think Sunset Square is a really good name. I'm also going to take... Uh, I'm going to take districts off that road. That road right there, I'm. we're going to need to upgrade that, I think. Or, we are going to need to get a serious, serious amount of... Um, of buses in here to make that just flow better. What am I doing? I want I want this to look neat, man. There we go. That's better. It was really bugging me. I was getting really stressed out there. I was starting to get really stressed out because that just wasn't working. Um, take some zoning off of you and take some zoning off of you. And I think... Do we want to do... Do we want to do like... European style buildings in here. Part of me does, part of me doesn't. I think I'd rather go for like IT cluster buildings. I think I'd, I think this will look better if it's an IT cluster. I think Sunset Square should be an IT cluster. Like completely. All of Sunset Square should be an IT cluster, I think. Because I don't know if I'm going to go for tourism in this city anyway, so. I think we're going to just do like one big old IT cluster. So let's do that all the way up to there. And then the, the hospital areas can be... Left open, I guess? There could be parks. We could do parks. Um, I think we'll leave them open for the time being. We'll let this area sort of build. We're getting some buildings already, which is good. That's going to give us, hopefully very soon, a bit of power connection up this way. 
It is, uh, some of it's connecting at least. But I think that'll look really good. I think, I think once that's all built up and super dense, it's gonna look really good. Um, Foggy District can have some residential. Uh, Prospect District, let's do some commercial down through the middle of it. With uh, a bit of residential sort of either side. So something like that. And then this corner here can maybe be another small park or something. How's high school looking? High school and elementary schools, we need more of. Okay, um, elementary schools can go... Don't know why I said it like that. We can do like two of them back to back there. And then high schools could be... We can't do those back to back, unfortunately. That would have been nice if we could, but let's do a... Let's do a high school there, and then let me get a taxi thing, because I've got an idea. If I do a taxi depot, I'll do it... I don't know, up here somewhere? Throw a taxi depot there, because I can do a taxi stand right beside that and have it look kind of cool. I like that. That looks, uh... That looks pretty good. I like that a lot. Okay. So, traffic in here is still a nightmare. That's kind of to be expected. I think it's making it worse. We'll not look at it directly, though. Because if we keep watching it, it's going to get shy and it's not going to, like, work itself out. So, we'll just, uh, we'll hope for the best there. Oh, we're sort of looking at it again. Uh, let me see. So, public transport. We actually need to keep an eye on this because we have enough now to do a decent metro system, I think. We have 1.8 million dollars. And we only have a couple of bus lines. So, I think we need to do a metro. So let's do, let's do a metro that goes way around the square here. We'll have one that goes on this side, because we can't get one on that side anyway. Although somehow it's fine there. All right. Um, let's do there. Let's try and do this symmetrical. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but I kind of have an idea. I have a theory. I'm thinking, and I know that's dangerous, but I'm thinking. We can sort of do this thing. Uh, we'll go to that side. And uh, so sort of there's the middle. Apparently it is going to let me do that, even though there's tunnels under there. That's odd. That's a bit odd. Um, same with there as well. Okay. 